it shall burn you. I almost feel like Villain's Chosen is the most important card in, in the mirror early, since most of the early battles are like 1-3s against 1-3s, or something like 2-4s, 1-3s, 2-3s. They all don't kill each other, but they all get crushed by a dude with Villain's Chosen. I feel like I should keep Villain's Chosen. It's really weird because I don't have a dragon. Hopefully I'll get one soon. Can I even play this guy as a 2-1 and gets crushed by Northshire Cleric? I can't stop it. I feel like I just I just pass because I can just play Shrinkmeister next turn against the Northshire. And also I need to have at least one dragon in my hand. I hope he doesn't have villains chosen. Does that mean the person has coin has advantage in this matchup? Because it's possible to do coins villains chosen first. I don't really see I stop it though. I just have to wait. My work is paramount. Leave me alone. I can buff this up, let's see, a two three and then it'll be four seven or a three six. I think I need to go for the four seven. Three six just doesn't trade very well here. Play a game, look at chat, laugh awkwardly. Sounds like me. So this will make it a six six. This is five four. Otherwise, they're the same because I, I, I kill it either way. Probably gonna play the Vulgin here. The spirits be restless. I guess it's not game over just because of Villain's Chosen, but it's a huge advantage, I think, going from a Villain's Chosen early game into someone that basically can't contest you. Because none of the Priest minions trade versus each other. They're all like more health than attack, pretty much. Go ahead and play this even though it's weak to Cabal. I'd rather not shield this. Shower Death is very likely answer. It doesn't make any sense to shield it. And if he steals my guy, it's gonna get crushed. Because I, I have Powered Shield and I can kill his Cabal, so... Five, six. Ooh, that's a good Corruptor. Just gonna buff this guy up to 5-6. Sun kills Corruptor. And probably... Doesn't make sense to buff him. Or just save my shield here. Like, Holy Nova does 1 damage, kind of. Probably just save the shield. I don't feel like I'm particularly weak against Holy Nova. I don't want to buff the other guy in case of like a Shower Death or a Vulgin. I have to trade one in in Holy Nova, right? Do I want Power Shield first? I think I might as well, although maybe it's better for me to just save the shield for this guy. Maybe it's the... I can just do a compromise. I just don't see this Power Shield being that useful. I don't have time. I guess it's still kind of useful, 5-5 five, five instead of 5-3, for a potential Blackwing Corruptor on his end, a second Blackwing Corruptor. He does have another dragon in his hand. It's pretty expensive for me to burn a Holy Nova on it, but I basically saved one of my guys, so... Power flows through me. Does he have another Valence Chosen or something? Yeah. Okay, I need to... Draw for a shower death. death to the pretender. Job done. 
was one card too late. There's no way I could have done it though if it was if it was like that and still have mana for it. Let me change your mind. Is someone injured? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, oh, that's so weird. I want to draw this turn, but I can't. Okay, let's just forget about drawing this turn. Let's just death this guy. Play the Twilight Guardian and then just clear out his little guys. I need one more mana to, or two more mana in order for me to play Cleric and heal. I'd probably just save the Cleric down. Let's have extra mana. It's about value right now. If I play this cleric, he can have potential second cabal as well. Like we're both almost out of cards for kind of playing a value game. Sorry, he's both chosens, which is good. Fulgen. Sarah might just have to go for that. I dream. Playing like a tempo priest here, in case like say he has t he has ten damage right, so he can trade for the Ysera and Holy Nova, or like do two damage with Corruptor, and that way I have my priest left over. Especially against Holy Nova, it takes damage and then I can heal it next turn. Against Holy Nova, how does that even work? Ysera awakens. I guess I don't kill his Ysera. So I can clear the board, it'll be a Sarah vs. Sarah battle. Uh, I, I am I am gonna have to do that. I shall bring you rest. About nine. I need that shrink meister. It's kinda risky, right? If I don't heal myself. Since he has two Ysera cards to do five damage. This is unfortunately... Unfortunately I probably use, lose my Ysera as well. Because doing two damage is pretty easy for him. Are you mocking me? Dream. That is a good one. Alright, well I'm going for my only chance. Hmm. Hope he doesn't have a minion actually from Ysera, because I can play my Ysera still. It's just like, if he has a lot of minions here, he can just swarm me. That's so risky for me. Uh, this is kind of gross, because a lot of the stuff does damage, or er, 5 damage, Ysera cards, which kills me, but can't really win playing another way. I might fall more behind on tempo. I guess these cards are spells, or he would have played the minions. I'm actually going to do something weird, it's just to, uh... Let me change your mind. Playing around Yosara Awakens and Nightmare. I feel like his hand is free spell heavy. I could have saved the Cabal, but I just think it's not relevant at this point. The moment I get some time to play Yosara, I can win, probably. It might be relevant if like his cards are like Shrinkmeister Cabal and he steals my Yosara, then I don't have the Shrinkmeister Cabal. And that's like looking too far ahead, I feel. Are you mocking me? No dragon. Oof. Let's play him while I can. Wait a minute, should I steal a guy and just heal up more? That's probably better. Oh, Although, man, I have a Shrinkmeister too. It's just like... I've ever killed his Ysera though. 
he can't have shrink meister in his deck. He's using black wing technician and stuff. Like I barely fit in shrink meisters in my deck. I guess my Ysir won't get stolen. It's too much value. I think I just like steal this guy still. Yeah, that, that means I should steal this guy because he can't steal my Ysir. I don't have to steal it back. Healing phase is probably the best. Even if he Holy Novas, whatever. Self two minions. No dragon, right? He didn't have a dragon last turn. And if he top deck this, then he can't have a dragon. He still has one Ysera card, although we can just play Ysera. Okay, I don't have lethal. Nightmare is likely with how it played out. Maybe Awakens. Second Dream is what he got. Yeah, Ysera carried me pretty hard. I got double Awakens, and they are both good. The second one, I thought it wasn't good enough, because I couldn't kill Ysera, but then I top decked the Chosen and had the death combo. I'm not going to keep Ysera just for the Dragon Synergy. I just got to hope it works out better than that against Paladin's too slow. I don't think Veln's Chosen is particularly good against Paladin either, because they have a lot of like small guys 1-1s. One I have played Molten Echo Mage before. I never really liked it a lot just because of the fact that I, I feel like there's just something missing from that deck. If people play around Moltens, then you can't win. Like it's it's actually a really noticeable. You actually have like no conditions if they play around Moltens and they're a control deck as well. And it just bothers me too much. Even though people don't do it a lot. Like if they know what you're playing against. Like it's like a gimmick. I like this. Losing Taunt and plus one attack, which is big, but it's better than playing Cleric, since I can Cleric and heal next turn together. You think this is funny? That's good. Wasn't avenge. Is someone injured? Job done. Reporting for duty. A ah. holy nova is going to be like really key here. I need something to do next turn. Okay, that's my only dragon. Oh well, I may have to play it. It's also really important to play around Divine Favor. I do have the two Shower Deaths for his Mysterious Challenger, and Cabal Shaffer is actually really good in this matchup. So I do have a lot of answers. We'll see what I what I pull out here soon. It's looking like the Holy Nova is kind of underwhelming. But I might want to do it anyways this turn. Okay, I like this the best. Yeah, that's good because if it is avenged, since I kill his whole board at the same time, it doesn't proc. And I can't Holy Nova and Death on the same turn as Mysterious Challenger. Oh, this is turn 5. That was turn 6. I, I felt like I needed to get rid of the most of the small stuff on board so I can Death. And not have to worry about Mysterious Challenger. I missed timed his mana. I thought he was on turn six. I probably would still hold in of it anyways, since didn't really have another great move. Just played around Avenge a little bit too. Is someone in? 
In case it's redemption or repentance. I think one of them has to be avenged by now, because that's a two of secret and he hasn't played any. The only other two of secrets are probably Noble Sack and Capet Spirit, which he's used one already. Redemption might be a two of secret. Okay, this is good for him to steal that guy. Mm, do I want to attack as a thing after I steal that guy? Let me change your mind. Probably not, right? He's already used one noble sack, but Put this apple on your head. I'd rather Put this not lose my guy for free. Reporting for duty. Oh, nice. Okay, need to clear this board somehow. Oh, that's awkward. What's redemption? Comes back. But noble sack pings me twice. Okay, whatever. Let's just attack this first. I don't think one extra ping is that relevant. Or redemption is worse for me. $3 donation from Everlong444. Hey Strife, love the stream as always. How about some good mid-range pally tonight? Uh, I don't know, we'll have to see. Um, I'm kind of planning on playing this, but... Twilight Wolf's kind of depressing to play. Basically just kills a 1-1. He's already played both Divine Favors. Yeah, I don't know. I guess like... I guess like... I don't like... being influenced by donations as far as work or play. I don't feel it's a good thing, so... But, thanks for your donation. I feel bad about it, but... Yeah, I'm glad I saved this. It's so good to have a taunt. I can actually play it after. Hopefully with another minion. <laughs> it buffs his minion. It doesn't really... Uh, that's so weird. I'm probably play it. So I'll help with another minion. The spirits be restless. I mean, I have death for anything big. Like... A serious challenger or Tyrion randomly. Reporting for duty. Wow, that was painful. I like two dead cards in my hand. I guess it doesn't really matter, like technically, since there's no way. Like he, he there's nothing scary left in his deck. And I'll win the top deck. I mean, anything scary, I have death for. So. I'll never tell. Reporting for duty. Makes sense to save the shrink just in case I get a buff card like Chosen or Powered Shield. That way, I can actually use it instead of. And especially his power shield, so I can cycle it. I can't remember if he's okay. I don't know if that's repentance or not. I feel like I played minions since then, but it's 
feel like it's been a while since I checked. I don't have to worry about Don Favor either anymore since I've already used, he's already used both Don Favors. Yeah, he's dead here already. Oh, especially with that. Let's go ahead and uh, Holy Nova first in case it's Avenge. By two right now. Let me change your Who am I? None of your business. <laughs> no more secrets. Ysera's going to carry a lot with this deck, that's kind of what it's based on. I'm not really completely based on Ysera, but... Since this deck's like mid-game is so powerful, oftentimes you go into turn 9 and being ahead and being able to play Ysera. I think that's part of what makes the deck so scary. 4-1 four, four drops, and then 2 good 2 drops, although I technically have 4 2 drops. I believe I'm just going to get rid of Dark Cultists, even though, it's, even though uh, I don't have a coin. Keeping three drops is generally correct without a coin, but my cur my curve is pretty small and it's not a dragon. I'm like actually having some trouble with the dragon synergy early. I'm gonna count my own dragons. Ysera, two drakes, guardians. I have a lot of dragons actually. Man, that's awkward. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dragons. Every turn, like 33% chance to get it. Are you mocking me? Huh. I was thinking which two draw, because the two four taunt's really good, having taunt against Paladin. But I'm really worried about noble sacrifice. Let's go ahead and. Buff my shrink meister. Looks like the correct one. Funny. It'll be a 3 2 next turn. It's just you one damage. Probably avenge it the way I played, but it could be a redemption. Ideally, I use a shower death this turn. Hmm. Let's just kill a juggler. This is funny. I wonder if it makes sense to go ahead and just attack like the creeper instead of the juggler. That's pretty scary to the amount of damage it take. But it sets up for Holy Nova better. I was thinking like I might not need a Holy Nova next turn. Uh, he hasn't played any Avenge. I I'm so sure that's Avenge actually. I guess it doesn't matter though. 
Even if it is Avenge, it's still my best play. Wow, he hasn't. That's not Avenge. That's spirit. Okay, <laughs> that makes sense. Glad I hold Novid. I have another one next turn. Come on, no divine favor. Nice. Okay, so I can hold it over here and then he should be out of stuff. Depends on his top decks. He has like three or four really good top decks, so it's still really scary because both challengers are bad for me. I guess not so bad with the death and the both divine favors are really bad for me still. Still a lot of pressure here. I'll play double cleric probably. Or double cultist, because there's no way for him to kill both at the same time. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage. The damn stand the damn stand ready. Uh oh. That's pretty close lethal. Eight, twelve, thirteen if he gets a ping on me. Okay, so I basically need to clear a large portion of this board while healing. Is it even possible? I need to, uh, I can heal a 3, death. Okay, wait, wait, so heal 3, death. Okay, I can technically survive. Kill that one because of redemption. I died a quartermaster anyways, and it's probably not in the deck, so. Reporting for duty. Oof. Like so close. Oh, where's my dragon? Right away. Get down! It's okay, I just try to get dragon next turn. I can play corruptor. It is a dragon, so I, I activate my corruptor. No true silver champion. This deck usually only runs one true silver. No! That's the only thing that kills me. And it's like a one of in most of these decks. I was probably gonna win this game, actually. Because. My board was so powerful and I can heal myself to 5 next turn and save me from everything.